What's going on everyone? I'm Rob Sigler and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, we talk about everything related to Photoshop. Today I made some light overlays that you can download for free. The link as always is in the description below. Now light overlays can add some extra color and polish to your images. Today I'll be using Photoshop, but these techniques can be used in any other photo editing program that supports layers and blending modes. If you'd like to download the overlays and support my channel, your subscription would be very appreciated. Now let's dive into Photoshop. After you download and decompress these light overlay files, this is what they look like. They're just JPEG files and they look like little blobs of color. However, we can do some pretty neat things with them using blending modes and adjusting how they fit in with our images. Now, the first thing I wanna do is add this to my Photoshop libraries, because when you add it to your libraries, you can use these overlays no matter which computer you're using, as long as you're signed in, and you can also have easy access to them by always having them in the library. So I'm gonna come up to Window in Photoshop and select Libraries. Let's click on Create a New Library and I'll just call this Light Overlays, hit Create. Now I'm going to just drag the JPEG files into the library and they will upload quickly because they are relatively small files in size and there they are. So the next time we wanna use the Light Overlays, we just click on our libraries and we can click on Light Overlays and there they are. And then we just drag them into the picture. So it's nice not having to always keep track of where these light overlays are. They will always be in your libraries. Here's the first image we're gonna work on today. And before we add these light overlays, you should keep in mind that the best images to use these overlays on are images that are a little bit darker. The darker the image, the more this light and glowing effect can stand out. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to this image is just darken the edges a little bit. So I made a new curves adjustment layer. I'm just gonna bring down the midtones like this. And then with a black brush, I'm gonna just paint over the subject so that he doesn't get lost in the darkness. Now I can flatten my image. This is a much better image to use for some light overlays. Now I'm gonna open up my libraries panel and I'm gonna select this light overlay and just drag it on and it will automatically appear in a new layer. I'm gonna hold down option or alt and scale this from the center so that it fits in the image just like I want it to. I'll hit enter to commit the changes. Now we have two layers on our image. We have the image with the boy and then we have our light overlay on top. Now. Without using blending modes, the pixels of this layer completely cover up the background. So we need to use a blending mode to allow these pixel layers to interact with each other. Blending modes have several categories. Blending modes in this box are darkening blending modes. In this box, they are lightening blending modes. And in the overlay category, these mostly deal with contrast. The majority of the time, we're going to use the screen blending mode or the soft light blending mode. However, you can always experiment with different blending modes and decide which works best for your image and the look you're trying to achieve. So for this one, I'm gonna select screen and it's obviously way too bright. So let's turn the opacity down just a little bit. Now I don't want this overlay to cover up his face and cover up his skin. So what I'm gonna do is select the background layer, then under select, I'm going to select the subject. Now our subject is selected. I wanna hit shift, command or control and I to invert the selection. Now I'm gonna press the layer mask icon and it will mask him out of the light background. Now, obviously this looks crazy because the background is way too bright. But what we can do is, first of all, paint with a white brush to bring it back around his knees and arms because I don't mind if that is showing. And then let's turn the opacity down even further until he blends in just a little bit better. So here's without our overlay and here's with. 
So this overlay adds a little bit of light to the background and it also adds a nice warm glowing feeling. Here's the next portrait we're gonna use. And because she has a lot of blue in her sweater and obviously blue in her eyes, I'm gonna use this overlay that has a lot of blue in it. I'm gonna drag it onto the photo. I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option and scale this from the center. There we go. That looks good. Press Enter to commit the changes. And then for the blending mode, let's try Screen which looks pretty nice as it is without any editing. Let's also try soft light. Definitely don't like that, it's much too dark, so we're gonna leave this one on screen. Let's lower the opacity just a little bit. Now, I don't like what it did to her hair and her face, so let's put a layer mask on there with a black brush at maybe 50% flow. I'm just gonna paint this off her face, and that looks good. We could turn the opacity down just a little bit more, and I think that would be a finished image. Let's try another one. So I deleted my layer. Let's try this one, number three. I'm gonna drag it on, hold down Alt or Option and scale this up. This one has a little bit of a lens flare in it. I'll press Enter. Now come down and let's try our blending modes. Let's try Screen. That looks pretty good. Let's try soft light. Again, it just depends on the look you're going for. I think I'm gonna stick with screen. I'm gonna mask it off her face. And let's turn down the opacity just a little bit. Now, I don't like how these rays up here are sharp and visible. So what we can do is add a little bit of blur to the overlay. I'll select Gaussian blur. And there we go, our finished image. In this next example, we're going to use a black and white image, and this image will really allow the colors to stand out and kind of make something that's artsy looking. So I'm gonna select number eight, the light overlay with lots of color in it. Again, scale it to our image. And now you can see that the blending modes have a much different effect when you use a black and white image. So you can really experiment and get a unique look. For example, the lighten is really nice. Again, screen always works. Overlay also looks nice. Soft light as well. And hard light. I think I'll use hard light for this one and just turn the opacity down a little bit because I really want those colors to sort of burn through. Now, if you don't like the position of the colors, you can always scale the light overlay to be a little bit bigger and you can just move it around like this. So I think that looks nice. So let's try one more colorful overlay with this image. I'm gonna select number one, resize this, press enter, go to our blending modes and select, uh, we'll do screen and we'll turn the opacity down just a little bit. What if you don't like the colors? Well, here's an easy trick to adjust the colors. Select the hue and saturation adjustment layer and then click this little icon. What that icon does is clips the hue saturation layer to our light overlay. So it's only gonna affect our light overlay. It's not gonna affect our background at all. Now watch what happens when I, when I shift the hue slider. It's gonna spin the color wheel and allow us to pick some different colors. So if we go back the other direction, we could add lots of green to the image. We could leave it with a really warm color. I like that a lot. And again, turn down the opacity just a little bit. If you wanna mask it off her bathing suit, you could turn the flow down to about maybe 20 or 30, and then with a black brush, just paint it out. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to help out. Remember, if you downloaded the overlays, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Stay healthy, stay happy, and keep Photoshopping.